In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a Maven based Java project in VS Code. Not only we would create and run the Maven based project from VS Code, but also I would explain few basic but very important concepts while working with Maven with VS Code. To start with here, I have VS Code already installed in my system and I have extension pack for Java already installed in VS Code. This is all related to my VS Code setup. And regarding my system, I have Java installed in my system. Let me show you my Java home variable. So this is my Java home variable, which is JDK 1.8 and this is added to path. So this is my overall setup. I have not installed Maven in my system. I have only Java home set and only the extension pack for Java that is present in VS Code. So first of all, with this setup, VS Code would allow you to create Maven based projects. No issue with that but you would face trouble to run it. First, I'll show you the issue and then gradually we would resolve it so that our concepts are clear. So let me create a Maven project first. I can go to manage command palette or I can press Ctrl Shift P to go to command palette. Here we have multiple options, no archetype and there are several other popular archetypes. You can select and create your project. For this lesson, I'm choosing no archetype. I need to provide the group ID. Default is com.example. I'm keeping it as is. Artifact ID default is demo. Let me make it demo one. Press enter. It's asking for the destination folder. Selecting one particular folder over here where I keep all the projects. Click select destination folder. It is showing this notification that this project is created under this particular location. I can open it from here or I can open it from file also. Anyways, that notification is gone. Let me open from here file. Open folder, navigating to that directory. This is my project, demo one, select folder. I have to trust this folder. So check this box. Yes, I trust the authors. Closing this welcome screen. Now here in VS Code, whenever you open a Java project and specifically you try to open a file, it starts activating the Java project. So, so initially few seconds, just wait for that, for the activation to get completed. Now I can see during this activation, this Maven related section, Java project related section, these are shown. If I expand Maven over here, we can see this project shown. Let me move it a little bit above. If I expand this, I have the standard entries lifecycle where we have different goals under plugins. If I click, it says fail to calculate the effective POM. The reason being we don't have Maven installed. That is the problem. If I go to dependencies, similar problem. And also if I go here, although it is listing all these goals, if I try to execute, it's telling me Maven executable not found in path. Please specify this. So if you don't have Maven installed, that is the problem. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to install Maven first and resolve this problem. And then I will have multiple Maven in my system and I'll show you how to toggle between different Maven versions because there could be some scenarios where you may need to use multiple Maven versions. Let me close this. Next step, we are going to download Maven and set it up in our system. So just search for download Apache Maven, press enter, click on this link maven.apache.org download. If I scroll down, this is the latest version 3.9.9. Right click, open a new tab started downloading. I want to download another version of Maven, something little bit older. If I scroll down, we have this older releases. This is another one, 3.8.8. Click here as well. Both of the zip files are downloaded. Let me go to this download folder. Just cut both of them. I'm going to place them into a common directory. Maybe create a new directory over here called all Maven. So I'm placing both of them into a common folder. It's not mandatory for demonstration purpose. I'm doing it. Let me extract the latest one first. Right click, extract all, click on extract. Now, if I go inside this, this is actually the Maven installation. I just want to bring it outside this folder. Go one level up, paste, delete this one. Extract the other one also. Same thing, just moving it one level up. I don't need the other folders and the zip files. Let me get rid of them. Shift delete. Now this version 3.9.9, .9, 
this I'm going to add to my environment variables and I'm going to add them to my path. Copy this, press Windows button, type env, go to this edit the system environment variables, click environment variables, new, add maven underscore home. I have pasted the path, clicking OK. Now I want to add the bin directory in my path. Selecting the path variable, clicking edit, click on new. So this is the one I'm adding percentage maven underscore home percentage slash bin. And I just want this after this Java underscore home. So moving it up. That's it. Clicking OK. OK again. Just want to see whether my Maven installation is working as expected or not. Opening a command prompt. Maven version. Now 3.9.9. .9, this Maven version is installed in my system. Let's now just open the VS Code and the existing project that we just created. Double clicking on this VS Code icon. It's again activating the project. Now if I expand this Maven, let me wait for this activation to complete. Now it's ready. Just expanding this under Maven. Expand lifecycle. If I click on this goal, you can see this run icon. Now the terminal is open and it's going to execute the command associated to running of that particular goal. Here we can see if I scroll up, it's mentioning this particular pom.xml and the maven command is executed. So what did we understand from here? VS code looks for this maven executable. What do we mean by maven executable? Let me show you. Inside Apache Maven, if you go inside this bin folder, in case of Windows, this maven.cmd or mvn.cmd rather, this is the Maven executable. In case VS Code finds that particular entry in the path, in our case, it found it because we first created the Maven home variable, then we added the bin folder. So it has found this mvn or Maven executable in the path, then what it does? it executes all these commands. And now, if I try to open this plugins and all, it won't have any problem because it has Maven. We can see this different plugins and the associated entries. If I expand the dependencies, by the time this dependency is open, let me open the pom.xml. Actually, I don't have anything added. Let me add a sample dependency. There is no dependency. So one thing what I can do over here, I can just go to command palette, control shift P and type Maven. Select this add a dependency. Here you can see input keywords to search artifacts from Maven Central repository. It is going to search from Maven Central. Let me search for JUnit hyphen Jupyter. Press enter. I'm selecting the first one. So you can see, so you can see VS Code has added the dependencies section and under that it has added the specific dependency. Saving this, it is asking a build file was modified. Do you want to synchronize the Java class path slash configuration? I would say always. Now I can see the dependency section is updated. Let me do one thing over here. I want to run the clean and install. One small thing I want to show you over here, I can run clean and then run install. But if this combination is common for me, like I need to run clean and install together multiple times, we have this option to add the favorites here. If I expand this, this is empty because I have not created anything. Click on this plus. Here you can see we can add certain commands and it would be added as favorite. Let me type clean and install, clean space install, press enter. So this is my clean and install. Running this. While executing, I see an issue. It is telling invalid target release 17. If I scroll up, okay. My Maven compiler source and target is 17, whereas my system JDK is 8, which is a mismatch. So there are two options. I can change this compiler source or I can have a JDK which has version 17. Let me change this because locally I have my Java home variable as Java 8. Refreshing this, executing this favorite command. Now the build is successful. So, so far what we have seen after installing the Maven and setting the Maven home variable, VS Code is utilizing that Maven entry. It is able to perform the Maven build as expected. What if I want to use multiple versions of Maven? Maybe for one Maven distribution, my Maven home is pointed, but I want to build my project with another version of Maven. How to do that? Let me demonstrate that. I'm going to settings. You can go from command palette or click on manage settings. So here you have this user and workspace settings. One request, this lesson 
is a part of a series of multiple lessons on VS Code and Java. In case you have some doubts on this user settings, workspace settings, I have created related videos on user and workspace settings in my playlist and those video URLs I would be adding in this video description. In case you want to know more or you have some confusion, please visit those videos. Coming back to the discussion, let me search with MVN and this is the section Maven executable path. So here you can mention the absolute path of your Maven executable. When this value is empty, it tries using MVN or MVNW accordingly to the value of this. So in a simpler way, if it is empty, what it would do, it would use your system Maven. Now if I mention a specific path, then it would use that Maven only. Let's check that out. Let me go to the Maven folder. This was 3.9.9. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside this, inside bin. Here I have this mvn.cmd. Let me copy this, go back to VS Code, copy this path, add mvn.cmd. And one thing we need to do, we need to append backslash twice actually in Windows. So modifying this, there is no save button. Let me close this and open it again just to see whatever I entered that is saved. Type Maven again. Now at user level, it is set. Now if I go here and again execute this command, last time what it did, it used the system maven for which the maven home was set. Now if I refresh this, let me refresh it here, reload all maven projects and I'm executing this maven command. You can immediately see this entry. Anyways, let the build complete. I'll come back to it. Let me scroll up. So this was the last command that was executed when I use this favorite. Here you can see it is using this Maven 3.8.8, .8, the one which we have set here under user settings. We can customize it at workspace level also, or we can just remove it so that VS Code only uses the Maven which is added to our system path. So this is how we can create Maven based projects using VS Code. And in this lesson, what we did, we created a Maven project from VS Code, we ran the goals and also we discussed few basic but important concepts like how VS Code uses the system level Maven variable, how we can customize VS Code so that it can use other versions of Maven also present within your system. In case you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and as I do most of the times, I would request you to share some comment, maybe some feedback or suggestion or input. Thanks a lot for your time.